tires deflate within a few years, although the rubber and synthetics they're made of will remain intact for centuries. Paint deteriorates quickly, and once it flakes away, rust corrodes the car's body at a rate of five thousandths of an inch per year. Seventy-five years after humans, most cars, even in the most forgiving of environments, will be reduced to skeletons. After a century, the family car is a barely recognizable heap of metal. Hey everybody, today we're going to show you how to do a synthesis reaction, how to uh, take the reactants and predict the products and balance the equation. Just in case your chemistry is a little rusty, as you saw in the video, uh, a very common synthesis reaction is the rusting of iron. The rusting of iron takes place when the element iron, Fe, combines with oxygen to form iron 3 oxide. The first step in a synthesis reaction is to take the reactants Fe and oxygen and to predict the products which will be iron 3 oxide. The first step we need to identify the charges of the products and use the crisscross method. So in the crisscross method we first identify the charges we find that oxygen carries a 2 minus charge and we find commonly in the rusting of iron that iron carries a three positive charge. So using the crisscross method, we would take and draw an arrow down and take the three from the iron and place it here. Draw another arrow, take the two from the oxygen and place it here. Both charges in the compound need to equal zero to be a balanced chemical compound. Thanks, Lauren. The second step, now that we have the products and a balanced compound on the right, the equation is not yet balanced though. So what we're going to go ahead and do is put 2 in front of the Fe2O3 on the product side, which gives us 4 irons and 6 oxygens. Back on the reactant side, we're going to go ahead and put three in front of the O2, giving us six oxygens, and we're going to go ahead and put four in front of the Fe, giving us four irons. Now the equation is balanced. This is an example of a synthesis reaction, which is very common in the rusting of iron, producing iron 3 oxide. 